All right, I have it. I got it delivered. This is my orange chicken that's not really chicken. Oh, it looks pretty good. All right, can I show you? Let's see, can okay. you guys see that? It right. good. So this is the honey walnut prawns. I cheated because it was a plate that I got two entrees. So in case I don't like the chicken, I have something to eat later. I will say this. Okay, let me lower the music just a bit. Okay, so just from appearance sake, it looks different. It looks way too perfect, if I'm being honest. So I don't know. Oh. It looks a little perfect. For is that my... chicken? That's this the, is oh, the that's chicken. The, this is the plant-based chicken. chicken. It's okay. the fake chicken. All right. So I have to take a bite. Is this your first foray this into is, the fake chicken world? I have never eaten fake chicken in my life. Okay. And I'm starting with the orange chicken because every time I go to Panda Express and my daughter always wants the orange chicken, I look up and I really have been saying that I'm going to reduce my meat intake because it's environmentally friendly and I should, you know, try to eat less meat. Not saying this is healthier, just mm -hmm. saying eating less meat. Well, I mean, anything dunked in orange chicken sauce is going to taste good, right? It's more about the sauce than the meat. I don't know. What do you think? Tastes like chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you didn't tell me that that wasn't chicken, I would have no idea. Really? I'm going to do it again so you could just keep talking. I'm is it full of protein, I wonder? Like, does it still have protein? Google it. In Google it? it. Oh, there's a little spice to it. Oh. It's really good. Does it taste just like the regular chicken dish? I will say the chew. Not that it's not pleasant. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating with my mouth full. Mm -hmm. um, it seems a little different. Maybe I should have gotten half and half, but I didn't. Um, John calls it, instead of chicken, he calls it like ficken, like faken. <laughs> that looks like a that looks like a cuss word, my friend. And I'm not that. Um, this is bacon. good, yeah. hands down. Oh, oh bacon, bacon's bacon. better. I will say this: I'll totally order it again. Really? That. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I am like two for two on things I thought were going to be gross for Friday food, and turned out to be pretty good. I wonder what. Oh, yeah, with the pilk last week. Uh, I wonder if Randy's. Uh, question is true is it healthier for you than the oh real i doubt chicken? it i'm not doing I mean, this for my health i'm not getting panda express because i'm on a diet right no because the sauce is probably still full of sugary because it sits a taste of tangy sugar whatever and it's still processed i mean yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's good stuff oh All right. yeah so the fake chicken, fake orange chicken at Panda Express. Two thumbs up, baby. Is a good Two thumbs vegetarian up. option, right? I mean, honestly, I'm surprised at how good that really is. Honestly, if you didn't tell me, I bet you, I, you know what I should do? And she's not, she's at school. I should fool my kid and see if no, she likes it. No, that's mean. Don't do Why it. Why is that mean? It's not like it's bad for her. I'm not poisoning so, her. Twice in my life, I've been tricked. And I'm still mad about both times. My beloved grandfather, one time we were out to dinner and he was a, his family comes from a history of being German butchers, butcher shop. Okay. Okay. So they always ate like all the meat and all the weird stuff that I like have. Awful no part stuff? Of. Like awful Yeah. The, like, the, yeah. yeah. So if I left any meat on the plate, he'd be like, what, why didn't you eat that part? Cause I'm like, cause it's not appetizing to me. Right. Right. So he once we were out to dinner and he ordered frog's legs and I was so Ooh. grossed out. I was a kid. Right. So I go to the restroom and I come back and I had ordered a chicken dish and I eat it up and he's laughing the whole time while well, he had put some frog legs in there. He goes, you didn't even notice. It tastes just like the chicken. You had no clue. But I was offended because I didn't want to eat frog's legs. Like the thought of frog's legs I grossed think, me yeah. out. So then another time, this is years later, I'm married and my husband decides, and I, the way that um, meatloaf is made has always grossed me out because I can see my grandmother squishing in the meat through her fingers <laughs> and the rings. You are that she's so wearing sensitive, the, my friend. Uh, okay. yes, this this meat squishing freaks me out. So I'm not a fan <laughs> of the meatloaf. I just like the I can I have those visions of it. So he makes this meatloaf, but I take a bite. He's like, "See, it's not bad. It's great." Oh, no, no rings. Don't worry about it. it. Didn't get squished. I wore gloves. Right. Everything's fine. It turns out it was not meat. The traditional meatloaf. It was buffalo. 
He goes, but if I told you oh. it was buffalo, buffalo meat, you never would have eaten it. But see, I want the I want the opportunity to make the choice to go, mm. do I want this alternative meat source or do I not? You know? So when you, yeah. when you see you're going to trick her, it's like, mm, I don't know. Well, okay. How about this? What if I bring it up and I say, would you be mad? And if she said, yes, I'd be mad, then I won't do it. But if she was like, eh, I don't really care. I'll give it a shot. Right. She, she probably, probably wouldn't, wouldn't. No. You know what I should do? I know I shouldn't lie, but what if I don't even say anything at all? What if I had this and I like I have leftovers? Oh, yeah. And she goes in the fridge yeah. and she's like, oh, it's orange chicken. And orange she eats chicken. it. She would love it. Right? Now, have I ever been fooled? Okay, so let me ask you this. If, if, if you feel that way about like frog legs and buffalo, what about parents that hide vegetables in the food? Is that okay? If the kid really doesn't want to eat the carrot or the broccoli, is it the same a, thing? I, I, I guess I don't have a problem with that, and I can't really put my finger on why. Because <laughs> you want them to eat it, and you don't care yes. about it. Um, what I wonder, though, is if you weren't vegetarian, mm -hmm. right? If what's the why would you order the fake chicken, orange chicken? Less meat. If, the, the 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 environmental aspect of it all. But there's not an environmental impact with chicken. It's just cows burping and farting, right? So well, unless chicken you're have... and, and the, the the farms and the, and the livelihood of those chickens. I mean, you saved a chicken's life by if people don't oh. eat real chicken, then the chickens okay. don't have to be all. So then your veg your reasons are vegetarian in nature. Oh no! I mean, I don't want a chickens to be all crammed up, even though they're delicious. I'd like I like free range <laughs> chicken. Run around before I eat your ass. You know, I mean, I'm I have a heart, Kim. I mean, yeah, I don't but want you know, the Panda animals. Express chicken is not the chicken that's treated well. <laughs> Those are not the. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, that's, they're not, the that's the cheap chicken. That's not the fancy chicken. Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm a meat eater. I'm not. I don't apologize for the food that I eat. I just want to eat less of it because right. I know. For the chickens, for some of them, the factory farm is awful. For the cows, cow, cow life, I mean, whatever, but also the environmental impact of it. So that's what I'm trying to do. Am I giving up meat? No. But if I go to Panda Express, will I order that again? Hell yeah. I would hands down eat that again. Nick says, yeah, I'm wrong. There's a huge environmental impact with poultry harvesting, less than cows, but the number of birds is hard to envision. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Panda Express. Oh, here's the here's the health. I didn't need to know this. <clears throat> Panda Express orange chicken contains 370 calories, 18 grams of fat, 44 grams of carbs. But what about the plant-based? Um, Beyond Orange Chicken, 440 calories, what? 22 grams of fat, so half the fat, and 47 grams of carbs. Oh, no. 22 grams of fat is more, and 47 grams of carbs. So same amount of carbs, but almost. A little bit more fat and carbs, but yeah, well, have, more calories. They have to put more fat and sugar into it to make it taste good, right? I don't know. What is beyond orange? What is beyond chicken made of? What did you just eat? Bowel <laughs> <Foul laughs> Movement Express from Chris. <laughs> Look, people, you're making me not want to do this again. I thought we were all in codes that we're going to, you know, try to eat less meat. I never thought it was healthier, though. I'm not going to Panda Express to lose weight. A uh, rabbit, Eric writes, needs to become mm -hmm. more common as meat. It's more sustainable. Yes, there's issues with specific amino acid deficits, but it's if it's not your only source of food, it's fine. Rabbit. Have I ever I, had a rabbit? I don't think so. I can't so. eat animals that are cute. For the same reason I can't eat a lamb. Well, all Veal. the cows are flipping you off. I mean. They're not what's... cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rabbits are cute. You can't eat I've had. What, have you ever had lamb? No, it's too cute. Have you ever I seen little lamb? Lamb? I mean, where I live, you see the little lambs jumping around in the fields. They like have springs in their feet. They're adorable. I can't uh, eat that. You know, I would eat. I've eaten lamb many times. I've eaten buffalo. I've eaten frog's legs. I've eaten escargot. I've eaten obviously chicken and beef, um, fish. There's not much I don't eat. You're quite Crickets. a carnivore. I told yeah. you I'm a I, I am a carnivore, a carnivore that just a plant based chicken. Um, <laughs> crickets, I've had crickets, chocolate covered crickets. I've had that. It's not Have bad. You really? Mm -hmm. Wasn't mm -hmm. it crunchy and gross? No, it's crunchy and it tastes like chocolate. Oh. That's it. If you have chocolate covered crickets, you want to know what it tastes like? Crunchy chocolate. That's what it tastes like. 
Impossible meats use significantly less water, land, and energy, and generates fewer emissions than typical beef or chicken. I love you, Kristen Storms. Thank you. So yeah, if you're going to eat it, I, I say go. If flavor, Flavor-wise, flavor two thumbs up. Um, you want to know what else is going plant-based? I want to throw this in real quickly. Philadelphia cream cheese. Did you, did you hear about this? Mm -mm. So let me show you the picture because they have a cute little picture to advertise it all. Well, of course, I didn't freaking put it in there. But so Philadelphia cr uh, cream cheese is going plant-based. Look at this cute little picture that they have once it uploads. There you go. New plant-based. All right. So Philadelphia cream cheese has announced that they're going to try to reduce, I guess, their footprint. It's available not here yet, though. Atlanta, Houston, Miami, some Southeast locations. It's supposed to mimic the experience of eating traditional cream cheese. Um, the, this is what they say. The influx of flexitarian, flexitarian is a ding word, consumers has driven growth within the plant-based market, which is now, according to them, more than 20 times the size of the vegan population. So would I consider myself a flexitarian now that I've eaten plant-based meat? Not quite. I'm almost there. So though. I've had... Uh cream cheese that mm -hmm. is plant-based before there's okay. a drive through there's one in san rafael Corte madera and there's one okay. in roner park and it's called amy's oh yeah so amy's same, yeah same company that makes the burritos and what have you right and so they have these drive through restaurants there where all of their food is vegetarian, organic, touchy feely. It's like the first healthy drive through, right? right? And it was between Station X and Petaluma. So I used okay. to stop there on the way home thinking, oh, I'll have a little healthy snack on my way home, a little lunch. Well, I ordered a bagel one time with cream cheese, not realizing it wasn't real cream cheese. Oh, and it got all over my car because if it's not, I guess the, and I don't know if Philadelphia cream cheese will be like this, but whatever they're using at Amy's, it crumbles. So when you try Ew. to push it into the bagel, it, it's still like, it doesn't adhere to the bread. <laughs> kind of and so like it rolls around and it gets everywhere so there's like little bits of squishy fake cream cheese all over the place Ooh, well I wouldn't do it again so this recipe that philadelphia cream cheese is coming out with that's plant-based is made with coconut oil and faba bean f-a-b-a -A, not fava but faba faba okay. bean protein there's no added flavors or dyes there's no dairy there's no lactose there's no gluten uh, but they say, unlike your Amy thing, it mirrors the taste and texture of the Philadelphia brand. So we might have to make put this on the Friday food segment, Kim McAllister, and mm -hmm. figure it out. I love cream cheese. Um, yeah, that's it. I think yeah. we do. And that's something we could both participate in. I'm there you go. Yeah, 